What's going on? Sean here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how you should talk to your crush. Nerf this! Thank you for watching, and if you are finding my channel for the first time, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications because I do release videos every Monday to get your week started and every Friday to get your weekend going and you don't want to miss a thing. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So if you are looking for some silver bullet, some magic pills, some potion that's going to make your crush like you, click off this video right now because I do not have that. What I do have are some very practical pieces of advice that you can use right now today in order to take that first step into getting into a relationship with your quote unquote crush. So if you know me, which I'm pretty sure you do because you watch my videos, you know that I'm all about mindset. You have to go into the conversation with a positive frame of mind. You have to visualize the conversation going the way that you want to go it. Maybe even play it out in your head a couple different ways. If things take a turn to the left to the right, you'll know how to counter or handle the situation once it arises. With that being said, you always want to keep the situation positive, so play it out in your mind, visualize it going well, and that'll do wonders for you. And when it comes to mindset, you have to go into the conversation talking to your crush with confidence. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, Sean, I'm not confident. That's why I'm watching this video. I don't know how to talk to my crush. Let me stop you right there and say there's a root cause of you not being confident. I don't know what that is for you, but here are some examples that you may be facing. One is lack of experience. You don't talk to a lot of women or you don't talk to a lot of guys and you're just not used to it. The only way to get over that hump and get more comfortable with it and get more confidence is to practice. So you're gonna have to swing and miss. Now remember, in baseball, a batter does not get a hit seven out of 10 times. Those three out of 10 times is considered an elite hitter, 300, correct? So you have to keep that in the back of your mind. There's gonna be times where you're gonna strike out, where you're gonna get rejected, and you gotta be okay with handling that. And the sooner you get over the fact that you're not always gonna get a hit, the better off you'll be. I can't tell you how many times I've struck out in my life, and not just with dating, but in all areas, health and fitness, jobs, everything, we all strike out, we all get rejected, we all fail at something. But as long as you take those failures and use them as learning lessons, you'll be that much better off next time. So another challenge that you may be thinking to yourself right now is, Sean, I really like this person. I really want to nail it because if I don't, I'm going to ruin the relationship. Listen, we've all been there, trust me. You're really good friends with this person and you don't want to strike out and miss and now you're not friends at all and they're out of your life completely. Well that, my friend, is something that you have to be willing to risk. If you ever want to take that relationship to the next level and get out of the quote unquote friend zone if you're in there, you have to take that risk. Take the risk or lose the chance. If you really like that person the way that you think that you like them, then you got to be willing to risk it all. If you're really like quote unquote in love with someone or really, 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 really like them, ask yourself would I take a bullet for them? If that answer is yes, then you gotta be willing to go up to them, get rejected and not be their friend. So you just have to take the chance or suffer in silence. The choice is up to yours. I hope all of that makes sense. So something else you might be saying right now is, okay, I'll take the chance, but I don't wanna screw it up. I wanna come at this with the best of my ability. And I totally understand that. But listen, if you try to BS people, it's not gonna work, especially in today's day and age. People's BS meters are off the chart. When a greasy salesman comes up to you and is trying to sell you, you already know before they even try. It's just radiating off of them. So when you are talking to your crush and you know expressing your feelings, you don't wanna come across as disingenuous or greasy or slimy or trying to be like some player or Casanova. If that's you, if you're a ladies man and you know that's your persona and that's you know that's just you, that's great. There's, I'm not knocking that whatsoever. But I'm just saying, you wanna be yourself. You don't wanna come across as something that you're not. So if you're trying to play that role too hard, it's, it's gonna show and you're gonna strike out. Because the two most important parts of a relationship, in my opinion, are trust and communication. So if you're coming across as something that you're not, that's just breaking the trust right there. So you want to come across as yourself. Now whether they like you or not, sometimes they're just not going to be into you and you have to be okay with that. You have to be willing to risk it. So you're going to have to 
realize that you just might not be their type. There might not be anything wrong with you. You might be very handsome or good looking or beautiful. You might have a, a great body. You might have a great personality, but you might have dark hair and dark eyes and they really like light eyes and light hair. With that being said, I'm sure some of you are saying, I have a great personality. I think we mesh really well. I just don't look that good. Now, if you're saying that you're ugly, just first of all, please stop. You are not. You are absolutely fine just the way you are and I'm sure you are handsome and or beautiful watching this video right now. Like I was just saying, you just may not be someone's cup of tea. You may be ugly to one person, but to the next, you could be God's gift to this earth. It's just all about preference. So again, sometimes it's just not gonna work in that way because you're just not someone's type. And with all of that being said, not being disingenuous, not coming, coming across as like sleazy, you don't wanna come across too clingy, too needy. You have to let the other person know that you're a commodity, right? You're not someone that they can just go to anytime they want, when they want, when they feel like it because they're not gonna value your presence, they're not gonna value that relationship. With that being said, you don't wanna always compliment them 24 seven, but instead use a really good compliment that, that works like, oh, I really like your style because that's something they can control, right? Instead of saying, oh, I really love the color of your eyes. They, they were born with that. If you compliment something that someone can control, that'll get you so much further. So everything that I'm saying is really a, a dichotomy of not coming across too needy. And on the flip side, you wanna have some fun, playful, flirty banter going across. And this does not mean make fun of that person. So there's really just a dichotomy of complimenting and, and having some fun flirting banter. So again, I hope all this makes sense. I hope I'm not rambling and I hope you got something out of this video, but basically here's what it is. You want to visualize everything going the way that you imagine it in your mind. You want to practice role play with someone maybe. You want to come across as yourself uh, with confidence. So you want to come into the conversation as your best self. And with that being said, you don't want to come across disingenuine or phony whatsoever. So I guess in a long winded way of saying it is just be yourself and have some confidence in yourself because if it's meant to be, it will be. You obviously want to convince that person that, you know, you're the one for them and you're a really hot commodity so don't be clingy but don't be mean again it's it's just a dichotomy right you want to meet somewhere in the middle so I hope that makes sense I hope you go ask that person out or you go at least talk to them and express your feelings because again just to wrap this up action 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 you need to take action and you need to be willing to risk it all. I did another video on getting out of the friend zone, which is pretty similar to this one. So I might have hit some other points in that one that I didn't in this. So you might want to check that out. But again, thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate you checking it out. Hope this helped you. Again, my name is Sean. In each and every video, I do try to make you the best version of you. Thanks so much for checking it out. Catch you next time. Signing off.